Okay, now the first thing I want to do is I want to establish the height of the railing off of the deck, and that's going to be 36 inches. So I'm going to mark this post here at 36 inches, and I want to be right in the center of it. Over here, I'm going to mark 36 inches and be in the center again. So right there. Okay, now it's very difficult to get an inside measurement accurately. So if you hold that tape there, and I go like this, and I measure, I've got to bend my tape. It's kind of difficult to read it exactly because the tape is curved. So what I do is I take two sticks that fit loosely in the opening. I cut the ends on a bevel like that. I reverse the stick so each bevel is facing out. I then take the stick and I hold it on that 36 inch mark and I bring it over here and I hold it on this 36 inch mark. I push the sticks apart tightly, put some pressure on it. And all I do is I put a line anywhere where the two sticks meet. Now we're ready to transfer our measurement to our handrail. And to do that, I'm going to take the handrail and I'm going to take one end of our stick and place it on the handrail. I'm going to mark the end right there in the center of the railing. What I want to do is now slide the two sticks until my marks line up, just like that. Make sure I'm in position of the center of the handrail here, and I mark the end. And that's the length of our handrail. Now remember, a handrail cannot be cut square because we have a round column. To get the contour or the radius of the column, I'm actually going to use this profile jig right here. When I take it and I push it against something, it'll follow the contour of it. And that gives me the radius of the column. Now I'll just transfer this curve to the end of the handrail. Now we're ready to cut it with the jigsaw. There you go, not bad. All right. All right, our bottom and our top rails are cut. Now our balusters are gonna to attach to the railings like this. Now we could toenail into the side of the balusters, but that would be a hole that you'd have to fill once you paint it. So what I like to do is attach the balusters to a thin strip of wood like this, screwing them through the thin strip of wood into the baluster. So the next thing we want to do is rip down some more of these strips on my table saw. That's great, guys. It's important that you seal all the pieces of the railing system before it gets assembled. That allows you to get to all six sides, especially the end grain, and underneath the nailing strip. Now all of the pieces to our railing system are stained and it's ready for assembly. Now the first thing we need to know is that the building code requires that the space between our balusters cannot exceed four inches. So what I do is I take this piece of material right here, it's an elastic band, get it at a fabric store, and I mark two inch increments all along the rubber band. And I put a little dot where the balusters would be located. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nailing strip for the bottom and I'm going to put it right here like that against the bottom of the balusters. I'm going to take the first baluster and I'm going to put it against the end of the nailing strip. This is going to represent the edge of the house. So now what I want to do is I want to take the rubber band and hold it just like that. Now Mike, you come down here and I'm going to place this baluster so we're now looking at the edge of our column. Okay. So now I want you to pull that rubber band until the lines line up. Now as you pull the rubber band, you can see that the space between the lines is actually getting bigger. And it's also getting bigger equally over the entire run. Now I want you to keep pulling it until we get as close to four inches on center as we can. Right there. Okay, so now that's three and 15 sixteenths of an inch from the edge of this baluster to the edge of this baluster. Now what I'll do is I'll transfer those marks onto my nailing strip. Once both nailing strips are marked, putting together the pieces is pretty easy. First I'm going to tack it together using some quarter crown staples. Then I'll screw it together using some two inch ceramic screws. Okay, the bottom one's in place. Now you want to pass me that baluster system. Like that, put it on center. Okay, I'll tap it down, make it nice and tight. All right, now I'll put the top railing right on top of that. Okay, now we'll just hold it in place with a couple of screws. On the underside of the handrail, next to the nailing strip, I pre drill a hole and screw it into place using a three inch ceramic screw. 
Set on the balusters. Okay, now let's see if it fits. Look at that. Pretty good. Perfect. Mm -hmm.